obviously devastating for them. Thanks, Jeremy. Now, Benjamin Sabina is in jail right now. He was officially charged just a few hours ago. Our Tammy Hughes has more details on what happened in court today. She's live outside the courthouse with more. Good evening, Tammy. Yeah, Lady Sabina was brought in in a wheelchair. There was extra security in the courtroom when he was brought in. There was also what appeared to be family in the gallery there to support him, and they were at times very emotional. 30-year-old Benjamin Sabino was wheeled in to face first-degree intentional homicide charges and the death of his wife, Jennifer. Sabino made no eye contact with anyone in the gallery, but a few people who appeared to be loved ones sat directly behind him. A young woman wept loudly, and another man with some kind of message written on his palm sat with that hand up against the glass. But the man described by prosecutors did not sound like a loving family man. It's very clear that he's a very unstable person at this point in his life. The complaint says Sabina admits to being jealous of other men with regard to his wife. He also told detectives he had been stalking Jennifer for several days. He said when he saw Jennifer leave this Wauwatosa fire station on Christmas Eve morning, he began to shoot. 30-year-old Jennifer Sabina was shot in the head five times. The complaint says her husband shot her twice with a gun of his own and three more times with her gun from the department. In this type of case, the violence and the viciousness of this homicide uh, should be the primary factor in setting bail, and I think that $1 million is appropriate. The court commissioner agreed and bond was set at a million dollars cash and so Ben Sabino was wheeled back into jail while officers with the Wauwatosa and West Dallas Police Department watched. On their badge was the black mourning band signifying an officer that died in the line of duty. And they did talk about Sabina's criminal past. They said it was not significant, but he has a retail theft charge and also a drunk driving charge on his record. What the court commissioner says was significant was just the viciousness of this crime. If he's convicted, Ben Sabina will spend the rest of his life in prison. Reporting live outside the county courthouse, I'm Tammy Hughes, Fox 6 News. Details that are hard to hear, hard to grasp. Tammy, thank you. Tonight, we are also learning more about the suspect. By his very own admission, Ben Sabina was struggling to readjust after serving two.